Hey guys, welcome to Coding Art. And today's topic of discussion is about custom listeners. So we will be taking a look at how to create custom listeners and how we can implement it on our program. So in order to demonstrate that I have used uh, I mean I've created a class of video player which will mock a video player class in real world use case where there are some certain functions. So the basic functions are the same like a start, stop, pause and release. Now let's consider there is a requirement. Okay, so I am just explaining you from the real world use case where let's consider whenever you are creating a uh, video player object in your any other class and you are just calling a release function. Okay. Now once you are calling a release function, you want a callback in this class to be triggered as soon as those resources are successfully released. Right. So this is the, uh, I would say, use case of where we should come up with the logic of creating custom listeners for our implementation. So by, well, we'll, we are going for the video player. Let's consider that we have this video player class. So let me first start with the explanation of what are the callbacks and how it is getting used for and what is the exactly use case here. So if I start one second, yeah. So what, first of all, what are the listeners? Right. So we can consider listeners as the events that trigger the code. Right. So, for example, in our use case here, the release function is being called from demo class, right? We have seen that. So, let me show you again. This video player object is calling this release function. As soon as it is called, it will perform some kind of uh, release operation and then the resources will be released. Now, our requirement is we want to pass information from this video player class to our demo class where we are implemented this uh, where we have created this video player object right now we don't have any way that we can communicate back to the demo class the there are certain like uh, unusual way i would say because uh, there's a possibility that you're going to create a static function and then you're going to call that starting function from the video player class but that is not the right practice to do it okay so the good way to communicate from one class to another class is by using the listeners or callbacks so here what we are going to do is we are going to fire a callback from this uh, inside of, of the release function and that callback should be listened from the demo class okay so how we are going to do that first of all we have to create a listener right and creating a listen see I am using term listener or callbacks simultaneously because listeners are used to listen for a particular events and callbacks are the same functions that are being triggered or fired whenever we want to communicate from one class to another class okay so right from right now i will be mentioning uh, callbacks only now starting to the, our question we want to fire one callback from this release function to the demo class so first of all how to fire the callbacks so hope you guys have an idea that, that what problem we are going to solve just to revise you again we want to send uh, information from this video player class to a demo class based on a particular event correct right so now let's jump into creating the uh, callback so in order to create a callback we just need to create a kotlin interface and let me name it as video player listener and inside of this interface as soon, because we want to create kind of interface for what all listener or, or sorry what all events we can throw from our video player class okay so for right now we have just one e callback i would say on resources delete so here this function will be uh, treated as a callback in our case 
so as soon as the particular event will happen we are supposed to fire this callback on resources released now how to do that so in our video player class we need to create the instance of the listener so first we'll write for listener is equals to now we have certain ways to create the listeners right now we are going to do it by creating a weak reference of the listener so i will just tell you let me just first create the object that what is weak listener weak reference sorry so right now just consider this is a variable of type listener where we are going to fire these functions inside of this listener based on the particular event so what is the right now use case that we want to fire the on resources release function as soon as the resources are released so after this print statement i'm just going to call listener dot get dot on resources released right now what happened is as soon as release function is called this listener will be fired and it will fire a particular event that event name is on resources released now we have to create a way to for this or any other class outside of this i mean basically apart from this video player class whatever class is creating the instance of video player we have to add add a particular way to those classes so that those classes can listen to this particular event right so how to do that basically we have to create a way to attach a listener to this particular class so right now this listener is a variable which is used being used to fire the callbacks right now this is being initialized with a null reference which means there are no listeners attached to this particular uh, variable so in order to attach the listeners what i we are going to do is first of all we are going to make it private because it's a good way to encapsulate your code now we'll create a function add listener and obviously we are supposed to pass the type of video player listener sorry. listener of type video player listener so whatever class will implement i mean sorry whatever class will call this add listener function that class should have to pass the instance of the object where video player listener should be implemented if it doesn't make sense to you what exactly it meant i would show you just after completion of this function that how we are going to call this function and how we are going to uh, what we are meant by uh, having an object of implemented video player listener so right now as soon as we will call this function we are supposed to get access to this global variable listener and then we will assign a weak reference of this provided listener parameter so here we need to pass the reference of the global list variable that is listener so we need to use this keyword yeah so as soon as we will call this add listener function we will be successfully attach the past listener to this particular uh, variable and as soon as the callbacks are will be fired from this place i mean the video player class the attached listener will be uh, the attached listener will be triggered so i will tell you how to how that all things will happen first of all let me just wrap it up here by uh, having explanation of what is weak reference and how we are going to uh, make use of it right so basically weak reference means whatever class is being referencing to for listening to this callback will not hold the strong reference okay let's say it another way so whatever class is listening for the events from this particular class is not dependent from memory resources perspective which means that if this class is supposed to be released it will be released irrespective of the fact that any other listener is being attached to it so as soon as we will release this class basically if means if as soon as we will delete this video player object the listeners will be deattached right which means that we are not going to get any kind of events which is the advantage because what happens is let's say you are using video player class in multiple places right and when you let's say minimize the application or you are not no longer using this video player class then in that case the resources for the video player is need to be released right and if we hold the strong reference to this uh, class for listening to the callbacks then obviously the the video player object will not be released and it will remain in the memory so that's why we are using the weak reference here okay 
now let's come back to the main question uh, how to attach the listener from here so in the demo class if we'll go here we have the object of video player right so what we can do is as soon as we create the object we can call video player dot add listener now what we should provide here it is expecting a parameter of type video player listener so basically we need to provide a class which implements this video player listener object uh, interface right so if i will pass this here okay so actually we can't do this way because this is the main function that is being called uh, for execution of the program so what we need to do is we need to create a separate class because i'm not doing it in the uh, android project so i'm just creating a separate class named as demo and here i'm just creating the constructor in it and i will be initializing those objects here yeah and in the main function i will be just accessing the demo class yep makes sense okay so now you can just focus on this demo class because that is where we are going to implement our complete uh, logic of the callbacks so we have added the listener right and we pass this basically this means a class where you have called uh, we have, which you have referenced through this this class should implement the required listener so let me just imp implement that so can you see this this a function on resources released is implemented uh, by because we have implemented this particular video player listener now this, this is the place where the most of the magic happens and basically this function on resources released will be triggered as soon as from your video player class this particular event will be fired okay so let me first of all let me uh, type here starting releasing the resources so here you can take any example i am taking the example of releasing resources it can be any event like you are making an api call and then you are waiting for it to complete and then you can want to pass the listener as soon as the particular api call is done right so any event that is a time consuming event and you want to communicate back to your uh, different class that that event has happened you can do it with the use of listeners right so here i am just firing up this callback on resources released as soon as this particular release uh, operation is finished so in the video player class sorry in the demo class we have added the listener and we have implemented the same listener here and obviously as soon as you will implement the listener you have to override all the functions so as soon as the functions will be fired from here right since we have attached the listener by calling the add listener this particular function will be triggered from here so if i will print Let's see the resources are finally released okay now let's run the program and since we are calling the release function so we are going to run the program so how we are going to demonstrate what's happening first of all we have created the demo class which means that the init will be called and inside of the init we are creating the instance of video player and then we are calling the add listener right and basically by calling the add listener we are saying that hey video player class whatever event you want to do please let this particular class know and what is mean of this class this class means this demo class it's referring to and then it is ask is this uh, calling a function release now let's come to the video player class this is the release function as soon as the release function is called it is started the release of uh, releasing of the resources and as soon as let's say you will have some different logic here let's say whatever condition or operation you are performing and once you are successful you are firing up this event on resources released so in the demo class again here this callback will be triggered based on the whatever the resources are released successfully so let's run it and see so you can see here starting from starting of the releasing of the resources because you called this function and then the listener is fired and the firing of the listener has triggered this particular sprint statement so basically here we are successfully able to listen from this video player class to our demo class by implementing the custom callback right so if you want me to explain each and every piece let me do that for you so basically this is let 
one second yeah this is the callback and this is referring to a class that implements the callback or implements the listener right so as soon as you are uh, creating the uh, uh, calling the add function you are passing the reference of the class which implements the video player listener right and we know that this is the interface that has the whatever uh, callbacks we want to fire right callbacks declaration okay so this is the main thing that is happening okay now let's go to the video player class and we'll understand there what's happening there so let's start from this listener variable so we have this weak reference of video player listener right now we have initialized with the null because there's no listener attached to it right now and as soon as the release function is being triggered from here yeah so as soon as the release function is being triggered we are accessing the listener and then we are firing up the callback so you can see that before doing this operation we are supposed to add listeners if you have not added any listener for this events calling this function or firing up this event will no makes no sense right so in this add listener function we are attaching the listener basically the class that is interested to know about the events right so the class that is interested to know about the events from this class will be calling this add listener function and then it will be passing the instance of its class where it will be implementing this video listener right so hope these guys uh, this video are clear to you and uh, if you have any doubts please um, mention that in the comment and uh, actually i'm starting off the videos after a very long time so i'm just starting off to make sense with the topics right please uh, mention the topics also which other topics you want me to cover as well as what i was not able to explain clearly in the video please explain it in the comments below and be tuned for upcoming videos thank you guys